question. Yes. We'll be here forever? No, it's a joke. I searched the... The fridge gets restocked every day according to how much we've eaten the day prior. See? Matakuma told me... But surely you... You don't mean that. Uh. But then why'd the killer have to go to the trouble of breaking the doorknob to get at Mizuno? Because my door's wonky. There's a trick to opening it. This is just wrong. Why are you talking about it so calmly? It's horrible. Friends aren't supposed to kill each other. But that's so... <laughs> you too. It'll make you feel better. Oh, I, uh... Assuming the worst of people isn't going to help anything. The fatal injury was a blow to the head by a blunt object. Death occurred instantly. Pretty much from day one, Fujisaki was way too girly for his own good. I mean, look at those eyes! Broe was seriously moe. After years of being told he was the girliest girl who ever girled, Fujisaki had had enough of everyone's crap. Rather than punch everyone in the mouth, though, he dealt with the constant oppression another way. A gentler way. A way that involved tucking. He decided to live life as a girl, ladies and gents. Sure, he kind of sucked at being a boy, but man alive did he ever knock it out of the park at being a chick. He enjoyed his new life, but the truth was a secret he couldn't afford to ever let loose. If word got out, the teasing from you schmucks was bound to be ten times worse than anything he'd ever gotten back in the day. Instead, he had the gall to use the threat of exposure as a catalyst for positive self-improvement. What a letdown, am I right? Now's the time. I can't hide anymore. For better or for worse, I need to get stronger and be the real- But Fujisaki... I want to change. It's time for me to become a man. This little dude with so much to lose. You little bastard! Uh, 